last week or two I've been spending a lot of time uh, for other people pulling bracken and, uh, and digging up docks and then I get back to here and uh, I'm faced with, with this little lot. Uh, this little lot, my bracken, goes uh, all, pretty much all over this field um, and it's going to take quite a while to pull all of this out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the, the brush cutter out with a nice blade on it and I'm going to um, decimate it, hopefully. Now the reason that we don't like bracken is because it pretty much it suffocates the whole, uh, the whole area. So down here, in amongst the roots, So there's not very much growing down here at all. I mean, this is one of the better areas because there is actually stuff growing. Uh, I think this is one of the areas that I did cut down last year. Uh, but the problem with bracken is that it grows, grows as tall as it likes, and then at some point in the autumn, it will fall over. And when it falls over, it then smothers everything and you're left with this, uh, this is last year's um, dead growth which has covered the ground and if you scrape down you'll see there's pretty much there's nothing down there it's just bare earth and once uh, it does that for a few generations you just end up with uh, with nothing being able to compete against the bracken so what we have to do is we have to control it somehow and um, one of the favorite methods of controlling it is uh, pulling it because if we pull it we can get out the bracken and a good proportion of, uh, of its root. I say a good proportion of it because um, underneath the ground there are billions of miles of, probably an exaggeration, but you know, rhizomes, bracken rhizomes. Um, so this, it's not as if we're actually pulling out a whole bracken plant. All we're doing is pulling out a stem, um, pulling it off of the rhizome that's running underneath the ground. Now as you can imagine, uh, that's going to take quite a while to pull that lot out in this field. So as I say, what I've been doing this year and last year is brush cutting it. Uh, at some point in the future, hopefully there will be, a, uh, it'll reduce it significantly so at that point I could start to pull it instead of um, brush cutting it. One argument against brush cutting it is that it's such a severe uh, sweep that it's very difficult to avoid anything that you might not want to, to cut. So like we've got these little oak trees here and here which uh, with a stroke of a brush cutter could just disappear. There's another one here so Luckily this is not a very um, bracken infested area just here, so these are easy to avoid, but if you can imagine there might be some of these over there, uh, which will be much more difficult to avoid, but it just means going very carefully. So this is an area that I brush cut a couple of weeks ago, and as you can see the aim of the brush cutting is to take down the top layer of bracken and allow the underlying grass and uh, other plants to actually take a hold and start to compete once more against the bracken. So if at the very least I could stop the bracken encroaching onto areas grassland and meadows such as, as this piece here, then uh, we're, we're certainly winning for this year at least. And once the bracken's gone, we start to increase the diversity of the flowers and the grasses and we get beautiful displays like this one and there is another oak tree nestled in there it's amazing here we go then uh, so on this patch one thing i want to do is try and avoid this tree and uh, reduce the brambles and uh, let's clear this space. And here's the beast, the brush cutter. 
This is a Husqvarna. It's, uh, I'm told, it's about 30 years old, and you can almost imagine how it was modelled on the Ferraris and Lamborghinis of the late 1980s. All straight lines and uh, slugs. There's a slug on the brush cutter in the rain. Okay, you may want to turn your sound down. And you'll see what I mean about uh, the, the smothering effect of the bracken and the lack of diversity. Here, even though it's raining, it's perfectly dry and there's perfectly, perfectly dead soil, nothing growing, brambles and bracken. I'm trying to stop going on about it all of the time, but this is what I mean about it being inert and dead underneath all of these bracken. Bracken branches just sitting two or three inches deep, and I've just run through it with the, uh, with the bramble blade, and there's just nothing there. And this is the fate of a field that's being infested slowly with bracken. I've got a new name for you. You're now the jumping mouse. You've got a journey. 